Welcome to section 3, working with ACA basic tools. In the previous section, you learned the basic actor concepts in ACA. In this section, we will take a look at the basic tools in ACA, such as actor ref versus actor path versus actor selection, routing, replace actor behavior via become, unbecome, replace actor behavior via FSM. Let's start our first video actor ref versus actor path versus actor selection. In this video, we will discuss what's the difference between actor ref, actor path and actor selection. In the previous section, when we discussed actor components, we said that the actor ref is the interface of the actor instance. Actor ref is a reference for a single actor. It is created when an actor instance is created and is pointed to this instance. When the actor restarts, the instance still points to the same actor ref, but when the actor shuts down, the actor reference will point to a dead letter. And when you create a new instance, ACA will create a new actor reference. This means actor references don't change during the actor lifecycle. We know actors are created in a strictly hierarchical fashion. If we are thinking about an actor's tree like a file system and want to get a path for actor B, it's a forward slash user, forward slash A, forward slash B. This is a path for an actor. Actor path is a location of the actor on the actor system tree. It's a sequence of actor names given by recursively following the supervision links between a child and parent, down towards the roots of the actor system. The difference between an actor path and actor ref is that the actor path represents a name of the actor, which means you can create the actor, terminate it, and then create a new actor with the same path. The newly created actor is a new instance of the actor, which means it has a different actor reference. Actor selection is another representation of the actor like actor reference. You can send messages to an actor via actor selection, like actor ref. But the main difference between them is that the actor selection is created from the actor path or actor name. This means that the actor selection stays valid, even when an actor dies and another instance is created. So you can't watch the actor selection like actor reference because actor selection doesn't represent a single instance, it represents a path. Now let's play with an actor reference and actor selection. We have a counter actor that handles two messages, increment and decrement and has a count variable. Now let's create an instance from a counter. Then let's print an actor reference for our instance. After that, let's create an actor selection. We will use the actor selection method that takes a path or name. We will give it our actor name and print the actor selection for our actor. Then let's kill our counter instance and create a new one and a new actor selection. We'll print a new actor reference and actor selection. Let's run! Yeah, it's not the same actor reference, but it's the same actor selection. We said we can't watch the actor selection, but what if we don't have an actor reference and we know just a name for the actor? How can we watch it? It's simple. By default, every actor can handle a message called identify and replay to this message with the actor reference so you can easily convert actor selection to actor reference and avoid using actor selection. So let's create a watcher actor that will have a selection value for the counter actor. We will send an identify message for this selection. An identify message contains the message ID that will return a response. On the receive method, we will handle the response of identify. Actor identify contains a correlated ID, which is the message ID, and an optional value for actor ref. When the actor is live, it will have some value for actor ref, and when the actor does not exist, the value will be none. Now, let's create two instance forms, counter and watcher. Let's run. Great, that's the actor reference for the current running counter instance. To summarize, we discussed the difference between actor reference, actor path, and actor selection.